Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. We have some more breaking news for the Oklahoma Sooners through the transfer portal as Andrew Anthony has committed to the Oklahoma Sooners. If you guys have, have been a friend of the channel, you know my brother and I are both Michigan fans. And, and Andrew Anthony transferring out didn't necessarily surprise us. It hurt me personally because I was a huge fan of his as a true freshman. The Sooners are getting a very, very good player. We're going to talk a little bit about what you're getting in Andrew Anthony and what Brent Venables is doing through the transfer portal. Before we do, though, again, I just want to say thank you guys, especially the Sooner fans. Great fans. Love talking to you guys in the comment section. We talk a lot of Sooners football. We're, we're both Brent Venables fans. We talk a lot about what they're doing as a program. If you guys do enjoy the content, again, consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate the support you guys are showing. We love making these videos. We love talking ball with you guys. Let's talk about Andrew Anthony first. I know him very well. Again, Michigan fans watch every single game. And this guy, he comes in as a three-star recruit. You kind of heard of him, local kid from East Lansing, buried in the depth chart to kind of start the year as a true freshman. Didn't really necessarily – he's not one of those guys that came in and you expected him to, to, to be an impact player as a true freshman, 18-year-old kid. He, he came in skinny, 6'2", 175 pounds. Really gets his first burn in that Michigan State game and catches a 90-yard slant and, and burns everybody to the end zone. Uh, the biggest thing Angel Anthony gives, he's not the biggest receiver. He's long. He's got some good length, but he's not the biggest. He's not the fastest straight line guy. But when you look at what you want in elite receivers, I think he has that. And his second year at Michigan wasn't so productive, and that's why I'm not necessarily surprised he went to the portal. But in my mind, the talent is there. And you even look at what they said of him coming out of high school. I completely echo it, and you saw it as a true freshman. Change of direction skills and, and his fluidity as an athlete is elite for this kid. He like a Devontae Adams S dude, where Devontae Adams isn't like the biggest or fastest straight line dude, but he's smooth, gets in and out of breaks. He gets that position really, really well. And I think Angel Anthony was battling some injuries during his time at Michigan that second year, but again, was one of those guys that as a Michigan fan, I, I just kind of feel like he just got away. Like he 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 kind of got buried on the depth chart a little bit. Didn't really get the opportunity to perform in his second year with the program. This is a guy as a true freshman who I thought really had like first round NFL draft pick potential. And I'm not saying he's going to be like a one and done uh, first round guy at Oklahoma, but he's going to be damn good for the Sooners. And again, Oklahoma, kind of one of my favorite teams outside. If we're not talking Michigan football, I'm happy he goes there. He's going to a Jeff Levy offense that I really like what they do. They space out defenses really well. And when you have a smooth wide receiver who can create separation, understands where to sit it down in zones, he's going to add value to that Oklahoma team. And again, you, you, you lose a guy like Marvin Mims. I really do like where the direction of this pass catching unit is going. A guy like Jaleel Farouk is, I remember watching him in the spring game last year for Oklahoma. He's a guy I'm extremely excited about. Jaden Gibson's another guy that I'm extremely excited about. That offense under the second year of Jeff Levy, and this wasn't an offense that was bad at all. It was very good last year. I think the problem in most Sooners fans was, would agree is the defensive side of the ball wasn't great. This wide receiver room gets a lot better with Andrew Anthony. And I, I don't know if he'll be the wide receiver one. I would probably still lean Jaleel Farouk. But Andrew Anthony is a guy that's dependable. He's going to get open. And he's a very smooth guy that I think has really big time potential. Because you saw that as a true freshman. He just didn't necessarily come to fruition in year two for Michigan. And there were some younger guys that I think Michigan was a little bit more excited about, but Angela Anthony is going to be a stud. I think he's going to be a very, very good player for Oklahoma. And I, it's really hard not to get excited. And I, and we, we talked about it uh, in the summer, talking about this Oklahoma team and how excited we were with Dylan Gabriel under Brent Venables and Jeff Levy. Um, obviously a disappointing season. But it's really hard not to get excited about where this Sooners team is going kind of in the future. Because not only, I mean, you take a look at what they bring in in the 2023 class, top six uh, class in the country, 25 commits. But you also are getting a lot of talented guys in the transfer portal that might be there for a couple of years. Now, we talked Rondell Bothroyd from Wake Forest, who I think is one of the sneakiest, best pickups in the transfer portal. A guy who's first team All-ACC in 2021, and it seemed like everybody just forgot about him. And he even had a good season last year, and we talked about him. If you want to go check that out, we did a little breakdown on Rondell Bothroyd's game as well. And then they go pick up Dave and Spears, and you've seen what Brent Venables wants to do. And he's not necessarily going in and just grabbing as many players as he can out of the portal like a team like Ole Miss or USC did last year. 
he's selectively choosing positions and players that he wants. You're looking at veteran guys in Rondell Bothroyd, uh, Trace Ford from Oklahoma State, who are coming into that defensive line and are going to get that pass rush going, something that is so important to a Brent Venables defense that they didn't really have. And you look at who they have coming back on the defensive line, guy like Ethan Downs I think is going to be a stud. And yet only his second year playing college football last year looked phenomenal. I think he had like 14 and a half tackles for a loss. Very disruptive dude. But you're getting a guy in Andrew Anthony who comes in, he's an experienced dude, but he also, I, I think he hasn't even scratched the surface of what he can do as a wide receiver. And he's going to an offense that is much more pass friendly. I mean, you guys, some of you who aren't very familiar with this Michigan team, run the ball a lot. And then if we are throwing it, it's kind of play action, trying to hit that explosive vertical play. It's it's not as much of an air raid attack. And I'm not saying Oklahoma is an air raid attack, but they like to work those intermediate routes. They like to work the middle of the field. That's where I think Andrew Anthony fits in. He's not necessarily a straight line burner dude who's who's going to go up and hit a big time play. Although I think he has that in his game. He's much more of a possession receiver who's going to create separation, be a best friend to a quarterback. And he fits right in and kind of not saying he's going to be Drake Stoops, but kind of a very similar game. I think he has a little bit more potential than Drake suits athletically, but Andrew Anthony is a guy that I, I really think will help the Sooners team. And the Sooners got one that I don't think many people are talking about because he kind of Andrew Anthony didn't have a great year for Michigan in year two. This is a guy that I remember coming into the season this summer talking about him. I thought he was going to be a wide receiver one at Michigan. I thought he was going to lead the team in receiving yards. Didn't really work out that way, but a guy I love, I think he's going to a spot that is really going to fit his game, especially when you think about working that intermediate routes, work in the middle of the field, work in the boundary, not necessarily trying to hit the deep ball. Perfect fit. Really, really good player. If he develops, like I think he can develop. I think you're looking at a very, very good wide receiver. Who's going to be an all conference type of dude down the road and two years of eligibility left. It's kind of nice. Oklahoma hasn't really gotten a ton of younger guys through the portal. Andrew Anthony, one of the younger guys who can be developed, and, and I'm very, very excited to see what he brings to the Sooners in 2023 and hopefully 2024 as well. Again, thank you guys for the support. If you guys do enjoy the content, you like talking ball, you like talking transfer party, you like talking Oklahoma football, do that a lot as well. Consider subscribing. We appreciate you guys for real, and we'll talk to you all later.